Welcome to NorthRoadsOutdoors.com. This is our video blog, and today we are watching Ben Petrosky take advantage of an often overlooked but productive free spawn pattern for large and smallmouth bass. It is mid-April in southwest Wisconsin on the Mississippi River, and these fish are starting to feed, gearing up for the upcoming spawn. Let's take a look at how Ben explains main channel pre-spawn opportunities. Well, that jig fish just up tight in that cover. And I came out and just smoked it. We put it in the dude in there, lifted it two times, and he came and got it. I probably pitched in there three or four times. You know, what we're going to talk about today is spring fishing on the Mississippi River. Um, in the spring, water is usually high, and we have it this year. Uh, but we also think we have going is you know a warming trend. So the water's warming up. It's warming up pretty fast. It's still dirty, um, and one of the ways you can catch them is you know flipping real tight cover because they like to get in that stuff when the water's high. Guys on the river think that you know if there's current there you you can't catch them, and that's not true. You can catch spawning fish in current. Um, it's it's pretty common. It, it just it's a typical pattern that gets overlooked a lot. So you got like, what this is, a, a small back eddy here. Basically the current runs down, main channel runs down, hits the bank, and where it hits the bank, it creates a back eddy, and that back eddy pushes water back upstream. And uh, a lot of times in the spring, the fish will stage in that, in that back eddy before, before they go spawn. So you can catch them on the main channel in current, before they go spawn. A lot of people think that they just run in shallow and run right towards the bank, and uh, that's not true on a river system. So today we fished a very common springtime pattern. Uh, what we did is we started out on the main channel. We found a back eddy, uh, which is a very common place for these fish to pull up onto on, the, on their way to spawn. We followed that migration path uh, as far as we could until we got to the area where they spawn. Uh, just by going off the temperature and things like that, knowing that they're not, not in there spawning yet. Uh, we targeted isolated cover and uh, just the current in, in the back eddy. And that uh, was pretty, pretty simple fishing. You can duplicate it just about anywhere. It's a lot of fun this time of year because you can catch a lot of them. It's uh, an area, areas like that you're gonna wanna check repeatedly because fish constantly move, move, are moving through there. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Go out there and try it. It's a, it's a pretty easy pattern to put together.